Welcome back to SWGA Sickle Cell Awareness with Patient Advocate Monica. If you're visiting for the first time, welcome. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the tribe. In today's video, we're going to talk about how sickle cell education plays an important role in the complications of sickle cell. Let's get into the video. Have you ever looked in a medical book or a nursing book and looked up what they learn about sickle cell disease? I've looked in some of those textbooks and I found that much information about sickle cell. As a matter of fact, it was just a sentence. We didn't even get a whole chapter about what sickle cell disease is, how to treat a sickle cell patient, and what to look for when you're treating a sickle cell patient. It is so important for medical professionals to know what sickle cell disease is and know that it is an inherited blood disorder. If you're in the medical field and you're in the oncology hematology department or you're in a facility that caters to oncology hematology patients or let's just call it what it is most people know it as the cancer center. If you work at a cancer center there's a 99.99% .99 chance that you're going to come across a sickle cell patient. And if you don't know what sickle cell disease is, what are you going to do? What are you going to do to find out how to treat your patient? That is the million dollar question. It is so important for medical professionals to learn what sickle cell disease is not only what sickle cell disease is, what it entails. Because the biggest thing about sickle cell disease is something that people don't talk about that I've learned over the years, and that is most sickle cell patients don't die from sickle cell disease itself. They die from the complications of sickle cell. But imagine if a medical professional is working with you and they don't even know what sickle cell disease is. So if they don't know what sickle cell disease is, they're not going to even look for what other complications that could be happening with you as to the reason why you entered into the emergency room or the emergency department because something is going on. And most people, when they think of sickle cell patients, they think of a patient that's in pain, a patient that's hurting, a patient that's going through. But that's not always the case. There are other complications that come with sickle cell, but I know that's the number one thought that comes to most pro medical professionals' mind. Oh, a sickle cell patient must be here because they're in so much pain. And sometimes medical professionals don't take the time to find out why that patient is in pain. You can look at the lab work and the lab work still might not tell you why that patient is in pain. That's why it is so important to be educated about what sickle cell disease is and what other health issues that come along with having sickle cell disease. I am so excited about August the 21st from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m on that day it's only going to be for 90 minutes my event is called let's game plan for sickle cell let's game plan for sickle cell we talk about the complications of sickle cell and how we're going to come back dealing with the complications of sickle cell i am more excited that we're doing part two with dr lori big she's doing an update on what is going on in the medical community, especially when it comes to medical books, textbooks. Dr. Lori Vick is a member of IASCANAPA, which is the International Sickle Cell Nurses and Professional Associates, and they're working on a curriculum to go in the textbooks for medical professionals to learn more about sickle cell, know more about sickle cell, and how to treat their patients when they come into their medical facility because that is so important. This meeting is going to be on Zoom. You can watch this meeting one or two ways. You can log on to Zoom, which that information will be in the description, or you can just subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and know that on August the 21st from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to go live on YouTube. So if you're not on Zoom, you can always watch it on YouTube and you can share it because it's great information to share. 
not having knowledge about sickle cell is one of the greatest issues with the complications of sickle cell. And that is what I want people to know. No information to little information is a complication within itself. So that concludes this video. If you know someone with sickle cell or they have sickle cell and heart disease or sickle cell and st had stroke or sickle cell and had some other complications, acute chest syndrome, congestive heart failure, make sure you let me know in the, com in the comment section what do you know about sickle cell and what loved ones or friends that you know that are dealing with something in with sickle cell. And if they are, make sure you share this video. Until next time, stay hydrated and stay well. Goodbye.